algebraic expression and identities. Operations on expressions, addition and subtraction of expressions, multiplication of expressions, multiplication of monomial by monomial, multiplication of monomial by polynomial, multiplication of binomial by binomial, and multiplication of binomial by polynomial. Addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. First, addition. Sarita is doing addition of two algebraic expressions. Let us see how she is doing this addition. She is writing two expressions. 8xy plus 6yz minus 4zx and minus 2xy minus 3zx plus 5x. To add both expressions, now she is writing like terms of second expression separately below the terms of first expression. It makes calculation easy. Now she is performing addition from right to left. 5x is a single term and blank space is supposing as 0. She is writing 5x as it is. Addition of minus 4zx and minus 3zx is minus 7zx. Again, 6yz is a single term and again blank space is supposing as 0. She is writing as it is. And in the last, the sum of 8xy and minus 2xy is 6xy. Therefore, Sarita perform addition of 8xy plus 6yz minus 4zx and minus 2xy minus 3zx plus 5x and got the answer 6xy plus 6yz minus 7zx plus 5x. Now suppose, if Sarita has to perform subtraction of same expressions, how will she perform? Let us see. Suppose she has to subtract minus 2xy minus 3zx plus 5x from 8xy plus 6yz minus 4zx. Again, same way, she will write like terms below the terms of first expression. It makes calculation easy. After that, she will change the sign of each term to its opposite sign as she is performing subtraction. Positive sign will change to negative sign and negative sign will change to positive sign. Now she will perform subtraction by simply adding terms of both expressions. Supposing blank space as 0, she will write minus 5x as it is. She will write sum of minus 4zx and 3zx as minus zx as 1 is supposed to be there. Then she will write 6yz as it is and in the last she will write the sum of 8xy and 2xy as 10xy. In this way, if Sarita will perform subtraction of 8xy plus 6yz minus 4zx and minus 2xy minus 3zx plus 5x, she get the answer 10xy plus 6yz minus zx minus 5x. Multiplication of algebraic expressions. I think you may have learned these rules of multiplication in your previous standard. So let us take a review. The product of two positive integers is positive. The product of two negative integers is positive. The product of one positive integer and one negative integer is negative. Multiplying two monomials. Suppose 4pqx is a monomial. Now, 4 is called numerical coefficient of the monomial and pqx is called literal coefficient of monomial. If Sarita want to multiply it with a monomial minus 13px, how will she multiply? First, she'll arrange both monomial in multiplication. Then she will write numerical coefficients and literal coefficients separately in the multiplication. The product of 4 and minus 13 will be minus 52. And the product of P into Q into Q into X into X will be P square QX square. Hence the product of monomials 4PQX 
and minus 13 px is minus 52 p square qx square. If Sarita can perform multiplication of two monomials easily, she can perform multiplication of three monomials too. Suppose there is a third monomial, 3x square, with into bracket 4pqx and minus 13px. The product of these three monomials will be minus 156p square qx raised to power 4 multiplying a monomial by a polynomial multiplying a monomial by a binomial teacher has given some homework to samir now samir is multiplying this binomial 5m cube p minus 7mn square by a monomial 3mn as a monomial 3mn has only one term that is 3mn samir multiplies 3mn by 5m cube p, the first term of binomial. Then he writes plus sign and multiplies 3mn by minus 7mn square, the second term of binomial. Now the product of 3mn into 5m cube p is 15m raised to power 4 np and the product of 3mn into minus 7mn square is minus 21 m square n cube as Samir knows plus into minus is minus therefore he gets 15 m raised to power 4 n p minus 21 m square n cube multiplying a monomial by a trinomial consider 3 p into 4 p square plus 5 p plus 7 as in the previous case we use distributive law observe by using the distributive law we are able to carry out the multiplication term by term multiply each term of the trinomial by the monomial and add the products multiplying a polynomial by a polynomial Multiplying a binomial by a binomial. Sarita is now multiplying 3a plus 4b by 2a plus 3b. Observe that how she is performing this multiplication. First, she writes first term of first binomial with second binomial in multiplication. Then, she writes second term of first binomial with second binomial in multiplication. Now again, she uses law of distributivity. Observe now, we can see that she is multiplying every term in one binomial with every term in the other binomial. Now the product of 3a into 2a is 6a square. The product of 3a into 3b is 9ab. The product of 4b into 2a is 8ab. And the product of 4b into 3b is 12b square. 9ab and 8ab are like terms. And Sarita adds them as 17ab. In this way, Sarita multiplied 3a plus 4b by 2a plus 3b and got the answer 6a square plus 17ab plus 12b square. Let us observe how a multiplication of binomial and trinomial is performed. a plus 7 is binomial and a square plus 3a plus 5 is trinomial. Using distributive law, write first term a of binomial with whole trinomial and then write second term 7 with whole trinomial. Now multiply a with each term of trinomial, we get a cube plus 3a square plus 5a and then multiply 7 with each term of trinomial, we get 7a square plus 21a plus 35. Now write like terms near and add, we get a cube plus 10a square plus 26a 
plus 35. Identity An equation a square plus 3a plus 2 is equal to 132 is true for variable a is equal to 10 but it is not true for all values of the variable a like a is equal to minus 5 or a is equal to 0. But if the equation is true for every value of variable in it, the equation is called identity. Standard identities. The following are the standard identities. Bracket a plus b square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Bracket a minus b square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Bracket a plus b into another bracket a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Another useful identity is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus into bracket a plus b into x plus ab. The above four identities are useful in carrying out squares and products of algebraic expressions. Summary In this subtopic, we have learned addition and subtraction of expressions, multiplication of expressions, multiplication of monomial by monomial, multiplication of monomial by polynomials, multiplication of binomial by binomial and multiplication of binomial by polynomial. So that is all in this subtopic. Learning is fun. So enjoy it. Now the